All right, guys, it's time. It's happened. It's going to be Flash against Snow. Uh, you know, honestly, I've casted so many Flash TVPs. I, like, my prediction is Flash is going to get absolutely mangled by Snow. Snow is by far the best PVT we've ever seen. Uh, and he has been for many years, but, like, his levels of PVT have gone up and up and up. And he is... He almost single-handedly has changed the PVT meta. Like, his his Reaver play has really shut down Upgrade Terran so hard. And we see lesser Protosses doing very well with Flash against that. But Snow is another level altogether. So what is this game going to look like? I honestly, I don't know. But I think that Snow is just going to grind him down. I think that, uh, you know, Flash is going to be trying to take bases. And Snow is going to be busting up units and slowing down his pushes. And... Just take, like, the whole map. I would be really surprised and really impressed if Flash is able to beat Snow. Um, I just, I don't think his style is ready quite yet. Who knows? Maybe he plays a different style. Uh, you know, maybe he maybe he starts diving into some of the more Five Factory-centric play. But anyways, uh, yeah, Snow going to start scouting. We're on Apocalypse, three-player map. I want to thank you guys, of course, for uh, tuning into Artosis Cast. Uh, a big thanks for all the support. I'm glad that you guys have been enjoying this foray into Flash's return. Uh, I certainly have. It's definitely made me think about the game very, very differently. Uh, but yeah. Uh, anyways, we're getting into the game, so enough talking about that. Uh, the probe is coming down very quickly against what Flash is attempting to do at Gasless Expand. We'll see if he starts a Zealot here or he just wants to get his uh, Cybernet X core right away. But, of course, what this does is it kind of puts this build into a funky spot where you have to get your bunker quickly and you're going to have to grab your gas as well. So I don't think that there's too much option here. Cybernetics Core and Zealot both get started. And he's going to go ahead and take his gas. Uh, so the SCV going to go out and scout now. Dude, he's got he's to make his second depot. What are we doing here? Where is our second depot? What? Okay, there's the second depot. No real Sim City there. Uh, I, it looks like he wants to go command center, but like, okay, he was a little bit lucky. He went in the right direction with the SCV and he saw the Zealot coming so he can start a bunker. Like, I guess he was waiting till the very final second to have to start a bunker. I think if he gets up to here and this is not where Protoss is, he starts the bunker as well. Fairly certain. Okay. So the probe going home. Zealot walks up. Command Center actually gets started before the Nexus. Of course, the Zealot runs right by as they oftentimes do. And there's the Nexus. Not too late compared to Flash's Command Center, but... I guess we'll see how this Zealot actually operates, because if Flash shuts it down really, really well, then all that's left is the uh, harassment of the Dragoons that's going to be coming up. Or, well, we might not actually see harassment of Dragoons. Oh, dude, he could turn and kill that SCV. <laughs> it's only got two hits left. Wow. Smart SCV. Oh, and the Dragoon actually runs by. Okay, so this is actually starting to remind me of a game that Light played where he went Command Center first and, like, Snow's just like, I don't know, man. I just right-click past your bunker. And you can see this is, like, a big issue. If it's one Marine, the Dragoon really doesn't have a hard time. Flash is trying to surround with his SCVs, and now he's down workers. And the Probe even comes in as well and gets the killing move. Oh, my God. The Micro of Snow is just always so, so strong. And now he's going to slow the factory more. Guys, this is not looking good. <laughs> and he puts a pylon down. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And then as that add-on starts, he'll just cancel his pylon out. Kills another marine. Six kills on this Dragoon. Now, Flash has been making his SVs nonstop. And don't forget, like there is some loss here for Snow. He is losing Dragoons. Right? Or he will eventually. Like, this can't live forever. It's not going to be in the base for 20 minutes. Is it? Dude, this is so annoying. 
I would have left the game easily by now. <laughs> With some choice words. Dude. Kills another one. Seven kills on this Dragoon. A couple Dragoons out in the front. And he's waiting for two to run forward. Just going to go after some SCVs. Says, I don't care. One Marine can't do anything here. So finally, that Dragoon did end up going down. These two don't end up getting killed, but they do do some damage. Okay, Reaver on the way. This is what we've been waiting for, the Snow Reaver. So that was like crazy, and that looked very good for Snow. But we have to actually dial it back and look at where we're, we're where we are in the game, okay? So worker count is not that bad. Like Flash, if if that hadn't happened, obviously he'd be up like probably three workers is my guess. Uh, he was very, very good at his worker production. But now he's down four, but that's completely playable. That's okay. Oh, God. Dude, things keep getting worse. Mine's on the way. Uh, this is such a weird build as well. Like, he's getting a very fast starport. Is that for drop or is that for Wraith? I think he's going to get a Wraith. I think he knows. It's like snow just always goes Reaver. Yeah, there's the Wraith. Okay, so blind Wraith here. You know, obviously, if it was like DT tech, he'd just be dead. Continuing to try to push out with his Marine tank. Really interesting how hard Flash is pushing it here against this, this harassment of the units. The thing is, he knows that Snow is losing a lot of units and just doesn't have a lot of units. So if he can continually keep that Dragoon count low, if he gets a Wraith out... Suddenly, we're looking at a position. Guys, this looked terrible. Like, normally, I would be talking about how the Terran is dead right now. But Flash is within six workers, which is still okay. This is still fine. And there's a Reaver out. Look at this. He puts damage on the shuttle. This is very purposeful. I'm actually getting chills right now. My God, I have goosebumps all over my body. He's, like... He's front-loading damage to the shuttle with his Marines while he's out in the map because he wants the Wraith to just absolutely smash it. So he's going to lay some mines. He's hiding the Wraith until the last second. Snow has to turn around. He has to turn around and unload this Dragoon immediately. Dude. That's crazy. If he hadn't attacked the shuttle with Marines, I think he actually loses the Wraith there because I think he needs the extra shot. Well, he definitely needs at least one extra shot. So Dragoon walks up into a mine. We're at the same supply. Now, Snow is pulling ahead on workers some. He has his third Nexus almost done. He's adding those gateways. He's up to four plus Reaver tech. But Flash has a very reasonable pressure coming up. Okay. He's actually got a dropship on the way. He's got a couple tanks out here. He's done a great job reducing the size of everything. He's going after the Reaver. So I guess he, he figured out that the Reaver was down there and he wanted to eliminate it so it can't come into his base once again. But he's, like, we have so much fighting over here. That dropship might do fantastically. If he doesn't see the dropship, oh my god. <gasps> I think he's just going to miss it. Okay, he loses the Wraith. A little bit of a blunder there. Checking for that third. Oh my god. Ah, just barely. Dude, if he had gotten out of there without that, Snow wouldn't have any idea about an incoming drop. See this Dragoon getting into a better position. He'll probably rally this Dragoon in to help as well. He makes a Sim City. This could have done fantastically. It still might do all right. Yeah, he's putting damage onto those Vultures. And look, if he hadn't known, like if Flash had somehow gotten out of there, that would have been amazing. But uh, he did end up scouting it. So good active play there from Snow, saving him from possible probe deaths. The Vulture's still going to get a little bit, and he still has the uh, dropship, so definitely not the end of the world. And we're in a very different game than anything we've seen from Flash yet. He is going up to six factories. Plus one is still on the way here. We're going to have a six factory push, most likely. And in fact, Snow is only on four gates. If Snow does not explode his gates right away, Flash is going to roll through him, I think. Well... The Reavers of Snow are good, so we'll we'll have to see how the actual engagement goes, how the actual push-out goes. But just saying, right? Like, that's if you're playing against Fourgate and you're on Six Fact, you're like, all right, I win, nice. Um, yeah, you really do need to add those gates. Okay, one, two. Honestly, I think he needs to go up to eight gates here. 
Okay, trying to bust in a little bit. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. That's a lot of siege tanks there. Sorry, kind of going quiet while I watch this. Unbelievable micro from Snow, as always. So he gets him down to four siege tanks, but he loses a lot. He takes a lot of damage on the shuttle. You know, there's six facts, so he can easily, easily get that back. Six gates are out. Like, six gates, Speed Reaver is really, really good production. And he starts his fourth Nexus, as opposed to a couple more gates. Okay. <laughs> Just clearing minds no observer. All right, double Reaver in there now. Flash starting to push out to take his high ground. No, oh yeah, he's going to add in a couple Goliaths at least. You definitely need a couple Goliaths or Snow will just come over and abuse you with the shuttle. Vultures find that fourth. Now, do you decide to attack, right? Flash actually has a lot of intel. There's been so many scuffles. It's a lot easier. It, I know that some of these things look hectic, but it's a lot easier to keep track of exactly where you are, I find, when there's a lot of scuffles in the game because... There's just so many engagements going on. Wow, excellent Reaver again from Snow there. Clearing a bunch of those siege tanks. Plus one armor on the way. No third command center yet. Looks like he might be thinking about going up to take one. It's 47 workers to 63. So Snow is really kind of where he wants to be. I'm going to drop some Zealots out here and the Reavers as well. Oh, he's just going to break everything, isn't he? Yeah, it looks like Flash was maybe getting ready for another base. But Snow just, like, keeping the unit counts very, very low. This is a very different thing from really stuff that Flash has played against in the past. Like, the thing is, he's played Snow in multiple tournaments before. Uh, and, and like, really kind of outplayed him. But Snow's style has developed quite a bit. And you can see his engagements are just so good. They're so clean. And Flash is having a hard time, like if you get up to a critical mass then they can't do that anymore that's why we see so many five facts and six facts that go into third bases and whatnot uh but yeah he's hasn't quite been able to uh to get into that critical mass right we had so much bullying happening down here Really interested to see if Flash continues with the uh, with the five factory play. By the way, the one thing that I'm thinking about here as I watch this and look at this, he's actually like trying to attack across. There's not that many units, but Snow's macro is about to kick in. Like I think Flash, his only chance is to like mega turtle this high ground. Like he needs to rally every unit out, lay mines, be in position. Yeah, get rid of observers, things like that, because Snow is about to explode onto the map. He's got four bases with perfect economy right now. And this little, like, attack, it's just going to get overrun. It's just, you don't have critical mass. In earlier portions of the game, this could work. But it's just more units coming out for snow right now. Anyways, uh, one thing I wanted to mention about this game, because it's the first time that I, now I haven't seen every single Flash TVP, but I haven't seen him open with a five fact yet. I wonder if it was because of how aggressive the opening was. I think it was. I honestly think it was. I have another game against Snow, so we're gonna we're gonna look at that one. Uh, but yeah, it, just getting absolutely uh, destroyed there. <laughs> really, no units left here for Flash. No real economy. He's got 48 workers. That's like two base economy. Brings up a few more units. Trying to lay mines. Trying to make this mobility work out for him. And, I mean, he's being pretty efficient with these tiny little groups that he has, but I think that we're just going to see GG. This is just too much. Flash knows that he can't hold from here. There's really, there's just no comeback. I Normally, I would say something like, not even Flash could come back from here. Well, yeah, he's not going to come back from here. So, you know, Snow just kind of, like, attack moving across the map. His number's way too high. GG is called. So, Snow does end up... That was an interesting one, right? Because Flash going into the five factory. 
I do think it had to do with the uh, early pressure and seeing the Reaver out there already and Snow has great micro, so you're just like, yeah, let's let's go into that. Let's uh, play this kind of like safer, more logical approach against this. Uh, can't wait to see if he does again. Thanks for watching, guys. GG.